The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We're flying a little blind. We just had a power outage in the office, but we're bringing everything right That's back That's right, up. man. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks of TD Ameritrade. Think or swim as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, outstanding program. If you want to understand options, option strategies, futures, he has it all. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. I'll help you with some of the electronic stuff. I've got all the I've got all the quotes right here, guys. That's a beautiful thing, brother. <laughs> e mini's down uh, down uh, five and a half. Nasdaq down fifteen. You know, Target. What a great. You know what it's sounding like. And I hate to say this, and I hate to admit this. You either buy big box or you buy nothing. Because yeah. no one else, no other retailer can seem to make money in these markets. I mean, this Nordstrom number was extremely disappointing. And the Urban Outfitters as well. You know, you know, Urban Outfitters, guys, this company is not my demographic. It's not yours. It's really, it's, it, maybe it could be Tommy's in Urban Outfitters. But their other brands like anthropology and uh, free people. The, the young women that work here at TD Ameritrade love these products. Yes. But Urban, Out, Urban Out, Outfitters can't catch a bid here, can't beat on earnings. Nordstrom getting destroyed here down 10%. I mean, pretty interesting. How about Lowe's? Lowe's having a tough time down 10% as well on their earnings miss. Pretty substantial miss out of Lowe's. But they beat on revenues. There's something you, you, you can take. And they beat Home Depot on their comp sales. That's pretty on, on intense. On same store sales. So that's, a, that's one positive you can take from Lowe's. But, boy, they lowered their numbers, their, their full-year guidance, substantially. And that's why the that's, stock's taking a hit. That's pretty wild. And we got this up, uh, thank God. Look at that. 12 oh, bucks. Sure. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. Oh, you're talking yeah, it's not good. They, 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 I think that that lowered guidance by them is not a good number, even though the revenue beat expectations, guys. But they were light on the earnings per share, and they were, and they lowered the guidance for the full year. So Marvin Ellison is making a lot of moves, but it looks like it's costing them some money to do that. Yeah, and you know what's interesting, too? I'm just pulling up uh, Toll Brothers, Kevin. They came up with great numbers, man, and they're, they're pushing it down. You know, Toll, yeah, uh, Toll mean, Brothers beat bottom just... and top line, but... Guess what? <laughs> it's not mattering right now. It's not enough in the home. You know, we talked about that on the show the other day. These home builders, you know, they've all had a nice little recovery here. And some of the numbers have been okay and they've been doing well. But once they get to earnings, you know, to hold these levels with, with the housing market as we know it, they're going to have to have some blowout numbers here to hold here. Or they'll, or they'll take a couple of percentage points out of them, I think. Yeah, you know, and what it what it seems like the the aspect of you get the home builders really going higher. This Lowe's deal is going to be a big deal because if people have stopped doing over their houses, um, that's you know cash that's basically getting staying in people's pockets, right? You know? I agree with that. I mean, if you know, Home Depot and Lowe's are very similar, and they're both retailers. Right, but you can get a lot of information from their same store sales and their earnings because people working on their homes is really or improving their homes pretty indicative to to how the overall economy is doing. And though we're getting some great numbers in the overall economy, they don't seem to be showing up in really. This has been a retail other than the big box people. Yeah. Right. The the the, the big four: Amazon, Costco. Target and Walmart. Other than those four, this has been a, a just a retail disaster this quarter. It's pretty wild that, uh, I mean, Target's a fabulous store. There's no doubt, but it's pretty wild that Target can come in 
with good numbers when, you know, I mean, Macy's is a great store, Nostrum's a great store, but both of those equities there, I mean, they're toast, man. I mean, yeah. it's sad. It's like, wow. You know? I mean, think about this, guys. If you look at, at Nordstrom today, and here's the, the, the thing that made me trade it a little bit, frankly, is Nordstrom is now – $16 below where the Nordstrom family tried to take it private a year ago, man. February. Wasn't that long ago? Ooh. Yeah. $50. They, 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 they tried to take it private. And the board, first they had a little trouble getting the right finance and they wanted. And then the board said no to the price at $50. That's pretty so intense. For the Nordstrom now to be trading below $34 is extremely disappointing. Yeah. I, I bet I bet the Nordstrom family's happy. <laughs> no, they wouldn't be happy. I mean, right. that's the reality. But I know what you're saying, though. If they're trying to buy it cheaper, yeah. it's working. They might get it down. To, oh, my God. You know, the way this is working out here today, folks, this is actually breaking down pretty bad, meaning we're breaking the, the, the end of the lower end of this consolidation at that 35 bucks. And yes, man, $35 that's, is, or, you know, where it's at now below $34 is pretty right here. You're talking about, you're right, $35, pretty significant level here. Yeah. And Nordstrom, frankly, I was searching, trying to get some kind of good news out of Nordstrom, and I couldn't find any. Yeah. Other than they think this is temporary and they can get it fixed. But boy. And Looks like several bad decisions made out of Nordstrom. Yeah, yeah. I know. And, you know, it's fun. if we look back, Kevin, right, even do you remember a couple of years ago, we were all talking that, hey, we all like the rack, right? Um, right, Nordstrom rack. That was keeping them alive for a bit, but guess what? I, I, think it's, I think a lot of these stores, they have problems with the large square footage that they have. I mean, yeah. it's square yeah. footage. It's, you got to sell per price square ball. footage on a continual basis, and that's pretty intense, man, when yeah. – you know, yeah. one of the, the only is positive thing that, that you can make out of the Nordstrom case right now is where it's at here, everything's fully priced in. Even Barron's came out last Saturday with an article talking about how Nordstrom, all, all the bad news was priced into Nordstrom. Well, well, now you're down another 11% from that level. <laughs> so, you know, it, this is going to get a little, but this is turning into a much longer play here in Nordstrom, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt. There's some work to do. And, you know, the, one of the Tigers was saying yesterday that uh, when we were actually looking at Nordstrom and Macy's, he says, listen, you know, I haven't walked into one of those stores for a while, but guess what? Every single week I get something delivered to my house from Amazon, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I wonder if Tiger is just, like, positioned correctly. You know, it's really intriguing, right? I mean, because, you know, I guess, I mean, they get a lot of groceries, too, and I guess people yeah. just go to Tiger a lot more for... You know everything. I, well, that's, I think that's, I think both those big box, Walmart and and Nordstrom, how they've transitioned into uh, grocery as well yeah. in the last what four or five years, and really have become one stop shopping for everything you need. Yeah, and, and, and they're I, clean I think stores. Man. Those working. Target stores are beautiful stores. They actually, you know what I mean? There's, yeah, there's no doubt. And they've got a little bit of a higher price point than uh, than Walmart, so it's just you know it's just a level up in terms of quality and the whole shopping experience. I think that's what they go for. No doubt. Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, outstanding show. You want to understand options, option strategies, futures. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, Thank Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 69. NASDAQ is off 21. S&P is off 7.5. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow right now is down 44. We get the NASDAQ off 9. S&P's down 5. And if we take a look at these uh, S&P's, folks, uh, what you have here is, you know, I suspect we're going to, you get a sideways market, slightly lower out here. This is going to be the chop here for the next few days. You can see that uh, the spread is, is basically getting smaller every day. You know, yesterday we had the spread out here from a uh, 46 to 70, a lot in the uh, S&Ps, and uh, out here this morning, we got them from 48 to 69. Well, that's actually a lot overnight, 40, 58, 68, 21 points. Yeah. Um, Let's see, it's Wednesday, right? Memorial Day, man, coming at us 48 hours. Yeah. They just trail off. Yeah, big time. Yeah, big in time. In terms of we already had a slethera of earnings numbers. We were just talking about with Kevin, right, in terms of our... Uh, and th this, we're yeah. going to trail off with that type of action in terms of economic indicator action towards the week as well. Yeah, let me go to this. I want to see this Lowe's number because this is a big number, man. L O W. Yeah. That is a, that is a hit, right? 12% haircut overnight. Look at that. You better be ready for that uh, volatility yeah. following earnings. It's another ABC down. I hope you had some defined risk listening to Fast Market with Kevin Hinks after our program. Seriously. They, Look at this. So it did the ABC down in, in just one day. Like, it just gapped down. You know, it's 15 bucks off the 111. Bang. And so let's see what they have to say here. So Okay, so they they estimate was a dollar 33, they made a dollar 22, the big miss. Of the quarter and then fiscal year, yeah, they were looking for six to six ten, and they're coming gonna come in at 554 to 574. Yeah, cuts full year profit as uh higher cost. Let's see, oh, that's not the one I want. Just go back, yeah, just, just like, just yeah, back it up. Uh, maybe tick down, and see what maybe, yeah, uh, I just went, uh, yeah, the, the top one. What, these are all comp I just sales. I so, just ticked down. Yeah. See, comp sales on that's interesting. Comp sales the, the estimate was three point two and they did three point five. Yeah, and that's a big number if you can grow your comp sales consistently, right? right? Um, right. Pretty wild. Yeah. 
And Toll Brothers, as we were just talking about, Toll that's Brothers commitment with numbers, so they're selling that off too. Yeah, that's a good one to look at. So they have uh, net earnings of one billion dollars, diluted earnings of buck thirty-one for the quarter, compared with net earnings of nine eighty-eight and one nineteen a year ago. Um, sales for this first quarter increased in two point two percent, big number seventeen point seven from seventeen point four. Um, they, you, we don't get any of the estimates in here, unfortunately. We just get year-on-year -year comparison, which they're all going to know in. But nonetheless, man, not not. They don't like the idea that. Uh, they're not going to be making as much as they want on the earnings front for the okay. quarter and for the fiscal year. And that's not even with the tariffs, in fact, uh, now, because that's going to basically push prices up. Oil. Could, could, they, be, the, could they be factoring it into the fiscal year, though? That's oh, uh, probably. I'm, I'm just, that's what I just forward, wanted to, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so it's Wednesday. We get oil numbers at 1030. I'm going to jump over here, take a look at the contract. We get some volatility this morning already, man. Check out that run from yesterday, right? So Tuesday, early, early, 630 a.m. We're up there trading at 63.73. We trade all the way down this morning to almost $62 on two occasions. It was 62.06 and 62.07, 9 a.m., and then we got quite a pop up to 62.80. So trading 62.50 right now. We get the numbers in about eight minutes. Let's see what kind of volatility trades we can look to set up. Again, contract trading at 62.50. Ideally, we'll be looking for exposure from 62.50 up and down. We're gonna have 62.25 for the 11 okay. AMs, all right? So if you're bullish, that's a nice trade because you got 25 cents to the head start. Even, you know, we always pull up both sides of this trade, but if you're just bullish, this is where, you know, it's nice when you get your you're decently within the spread, right? That you're not going to get crushed in all premium. Yeah. As in the contract trading at 62.49, you're getting in at 62.55, and to, for that five pennies you're paying in premium, you get the privilege of risking 30 to make 120. So risking one to make four. That's pretty. Just good. for the five pennies, right? And I mean, that's not much of a move either. Meaning that 63.75, that you could do something like that. That's interesting. You, you have yeah. a dollar. So you have exactly your max profit. You have a dollar twenty yeah. of maximum profit to the upside, which right. I agree. You know that's a good amount. It's it's a majority of the time that's going to be most of the move that you get if you right. get a pop, especially right. by eleven a.m. Right. Um, so jump to the noons. Now we have sixty two fifty. All right. So this is going to give us the option where right away you have exposure to the upside, eighteen bucks, basically all premium because you're right at the contract. On the downside, it's going to be a similar plus maybe one penny of intrinsic value, exactly. Yeah. So $37. Now, that's a straight volatility trade. No directional bias whatsoever. You're literally trading at 62.50 to the thousandth of a penny. And um, not bad, right? If you're, if you're expecting yeah. volatility, you're talking about 38 cents, add some commissions in there, 40 cents, uh, excuse me, $40, which is 40 cents in the contract. Um, and you got both sides, you got till noon. So let's see where these dailies line up. So right away, all right, now this is intriguing. We always go over the 8 a.m.s versus the dailies, which are set kind of the previous night as things open. We always want to go for the bigger ones, right, because they don't right. charge us usually extra. But what happens is they line up at different price points this time. So the 8 a.m.s actually line up perfectly. Now these noons were a buck fifty exposure. These are going to be $3, and they go till 2.30. Your bullish side? 25 cents on the dot, we're trading at 62.50, you're getting in at 62.74, 75. And then the bear side's gonna be pretty identical. So it's gonna cost you about 50 cent, $50. Yeah. Or 50 cents. And the, so the, no, the noons are the, the ones. Uh, the only reason I'd say that to think about the 230s as well is you're paying for that two and a half hours from right. noon to 230. But also, there is a chance that. Oil trades above $64 if you get a big bullish exposure. So you're capped out on your profits there at a buck fifty, versus you might be able to get two bucks if you really got something going, man. There's a lot of political, uh, political just uh, turmoil, right? You know, the fundamental turmoil in terms yeah. of ships getting attacks, infrastructure, pipelines getting attacks. Um, having an exposure until 2.30 with news, what if you ever got something like that? You know, you could see more than a buck fifty. Um, but yeah, because one of them's $40, right? One of them's 50 um, so you got to make that decision. That's right. where your directional, right. you know, do you want to pay? Do you, right. Exactly. you want to pay 50 cents? Do you want to pay 50 cents of needed movement to meet break even? Or do you want to pay 40 cents? Now, what's going to be interesting here is that, so we, we get this chart up. What you're going to see is that 
June. We're, we're still in June. I th let me. Can yeah. I just jump we'll, back? Because we'll, that's at 63. We we're yeah. trading at 62.50. What are we looking at yeah. here? We're looking at July when oh, we're yeah, in okay. there. So it. let's go to. And the, even I think it's time to move forward. On uh, yeah, you can see the volume is, drop yeah, off. That's right. it. Uh, let's see. Oil. July. You see it? Well, July. Just type July. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, Okay. No, that's I was that's like, wrong. yeah. Okay, one second. Oil of July. I don't this want Brent. CL not, CLN. There we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. There we go. So this one is a little bit delayed, even contracts right now trading about 20 pennies below where this is at. Oh, look at this. Is interesting. So. Yeah. 60. Looks like it can do a little spike here. This okay. Interesting watching this. See what happens. Out. We had a small build yesterday, too. For uh, the API? Yes. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow down 32. NASDAQ off 8. S&Ps down 4. Come right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale is here. From now through Memorial Day, you can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars never expire and can be used for any TFNN good or service. Whether you're a current subscriber looking to add instant savings or you're a new listener or viewer that is considering signing up for any product in the near future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars and lock in dramatic savings on all TFNN products and services. We only have a sale like this a couple times times a year so don't let it pass you by tiger dollars are available in three purchase options with a 20 percent 30 percent and even 40 percent bonus once you purchase your tiger dollars you'll be able to apply them to your tfnn account and then they are automatically used for all your recurring subscriptions going forward making it as easy as possible for all the details on this tiger dollar promotion running through memorial day visit the front page of tfnn.com and get your tiger dollars before this sale passes you by the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Com now. The art of timing the trade charts has a special running for one week only. From now through Memorial Day, you can save 25% off your first month and we'll ship you a hardcover copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade. The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. This software package is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's trading philosophy. It automatically provides you with Gartley and butterfly patterns, swing points, retracement levels, confluence areas, expansion targets, and the power law vector indicator with just the click of a mouse. The scanner searches thousands of stocks each day and delivers a list of every Gartley and Butterfly pattern it finds automatically. Just enter the promo code BOOK at checkout. This sale ends Memorial Day, May 27th, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to save 25% and get your free book shipped today, check out the art of timing the trade charts on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 
uh, we'll get a good build here. We sure do. There's the headline. Crude oil inventories rising 4.74 million barrels. Uh, API last night, we saw, I think it was about 2.4. Yeah. Um, even the whisper number was in the positive, but that's a big build compared to what they were looking for, and you're going to oh. expect to drop. Exactly. Um, so we're trading at 62.50, right on the dot, yeah. right, coming in. Looks like we dropped about 25 cents right off the bat. Uh, any of those contracts, you need more movement than that, basically. Uh, the 11, the noon, excuse me, like 36, 37, 38, call it 40 cents of movement. Right. The, the 230s were about 50, 50. cents of movement. Right. Um, but if you're trading volatility, you like to see a miss, and that would be uh, categorized as a miss. As oh, yeah. in, you know, for sure, a bigger build than they thought. We'll see if those prices can get lower. Um, and a build in gas as well. Gas inventory is rising 3.72. And we don't have the gas contract up, but cheaper gas prices well, coming we, at and us. And that's intriguing because so this, this is the beginning of the uh, driving season. So there we go. So median estimate, minus 1.7. I thought I had seen that. Now, that might shift sometimes after that API comes out, right, yeah. in terms of the expectation. But nonetheless, man, a surprise. Gasoline, pretty similar surprise. Positive 3.7. Estimate was a decline of 8.50. Uh, pad one gas plus 873 distillates an increase as well versus a decline expected uh, and then they break down Cushing had plus 1.2 pad three had plus 2.8 uh, look at that refinery utilization that's probably going to come into that gas price refinery down um, they were they were looking for more refinery utilization look they got that. less can right? you imagine if there was more how much gasoline would have <laughs> Yeah. That'd be pretty, that's pretty wild, then. I yeah. Because it's showing the, the build in gas, right. and right. yet the, the utilization is down. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So pretty uh, pretty quick move, but, uh, I mean, that's a that's quite a drop on gas, man. 202 to 199 in a heartbeat. That's good. Um, that's what we need. Yeah. Summer driving, man. Memorial Day. Let's go to dollar gas. That's right. Yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities uh, in this market. And you can expect a low volume market out here again today, folks. So we had a, a low volume market yesterday. Um, Quel oh, yeah, Qualcomm's getting hit. Yeah. Now you talk about filling a gap. Now watch this. This is like pretty intense, man. You want some volatility, man. Yeah. Trade some Qualcomm. Seriously. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so, you know, it's, <coughs> when me. it come out and it beat Apple, yes. uh, stock goes from 57 to 71 overnight. Uh, $71 is the gap. Well, guess what? We're, we're breaking the gap. So yeah. now what happens with Qualcomm, folks, you can all go all the way back to its strength, which is like pretty insane, 57. Yeah. And it didn't even do it overnight. It did it in a span of like a heartbeat yeah. when that news came out. And yeah. then overnight it opened and made it up to like 85. So right. they had quite a 24-hour span. And Huge. Yeah. A little bit too excited, I guess. And that, that has to do with, I guess, you know, I was listening to Bloomberg. They had some good analysis. I don't know if you're listening this yes. morning and talking about that. Yeah, you know, they beat Apple. Everyone said, oh, that's the end of everything. And if right. you're really paying attention, Apple made a deal, right? They might right. not have won that or yes. lost that case. And that's kind of what that's, basically yeah, is the gist did. of that. They're right. still dealing with some patent claims that, right. that they might not um, succeed in being the beneficiary right. of, of the victory yeah. in that one. Once you start antitrust, or that's what they're, that's the, the ruling this morning. Yeah. That's, you know, so. Saying that they're using those patents as a, you know, um, stifling competition, totally. et cetera. And, totally. and that might be the case. And when Apple came out, it was discussed that Apple might have been able to win that case or something like that, but they, they didn't want to go to the war too, too yeah, with, with yeah. a company that they needed and take years. And Apple just said, to heck with there it. There you go. That, yeah. That's right. And yeah. So we have uh, Tesla down uh, another, uh, let's see, five bucks here, but I think oh. it was up uh, Tesla. Oh, yeah, because it it's at 199 seven. so. It's up seven yesterday. Yeah, so this is building more cars, folks. It's you not know. going to 10 bucks yet? Oh, man, I'm telling you, this is, tr <laughs> this is trouble in paradise for Tesla. Oh. Be careful if you're obsessible, and, oh. and I, I have nothing but respect for Elon Musk and his genius, yeah. but um, this is a different deal when you're oh. talking about a production company that's already priced to be worth, can we just see, what is Tesla, the market cap right now? It's still mammoth, you know? I mean, that's what you have to keep in mind, is that it's just a mammoth company at this stage still, $35 billion company wow. um, that has so much debt, can't make a profit, so where's that $35 billion going to come from? Um, yeah, GM's fifty-two billion. That's, see, that makes no sense. Yeah, I mean that's that's what, that's what people are looking at too, folks. Okay? And that was talked about a lot the moment that Tesla right. climbed above them, which is probably a couple of years ago now. Right. And even even then, everybody else said, "Whoa, whoa!" Like, yeah, we know they're the future, but they're not bigger than GM. GM can flip the switch on electronic electric cars right now, and guess right. what? They are right. And GM takes in one hundred forty-six <laughs> billion. And look at the profit. 
Yeah. You know, big numbers, um, big numbers versus what is what is Tesla? I'm almost afraid to uh, to see their revenue numbers compared to. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is a big column. This I wouldn't believe for, so for a heartbeat. Takes in six times the amount. Six times the amount, and they make a profit. And again, I wouldn't believe that Tesla is going to be churning that type of a profit in 2020. Yeah. I mean, all I hear about is that, oh, it's so great that they, you know, uh, raise some more money through a debt offering. Well, that's great until you can't raise any more money through exactly. a debt offering. <laughs> There's, there's no doubt about that, man. Oh, and pound, huh? Yeah, let's go look at Talk that pound. Talk about volatility. Because uh, they're going south over I'd be there. careful being long look the pound that. just like being long Tesla right look now. That, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, three months ago, we made that something may happen, 133. You're at 126, and the bottom of this is this uh, 126, 16. Uh, what, no, one, oh, yeah, no, 124. Okay, yeah. Um, and the pound is saying it all, man. You know, no. this there thing, may be a hard Brexit in the books, and yeah. that's, that's the thing that the pound worried about most. And, uh, and if this thing breaks that uh, 124, then guess what? Is that 118? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. It's 118 over there. Yeah. So there's some real, uh, there is some real problem childs here. Let's go to uh, John in Philly. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Good morning, Tom and Tommy. Thanks for taking the call. Morning, John. Thanks for calling, man. Appreciate it. Say, uh, Tommy, I want to get right to it. Uh, you do a fine work on uh, guiding us through currencies. Tom, um, the dollar index, DXY, I think that, that'd be uh, as useful as anything to yeah. ask the question about. Uh, the dollar index is, th there's no volatility in it. In other words, it's not moving much. But it is pressing highs. And my question Tom, is do you have any reason you can share with us on why you'd expect, if you if you can conjure up uh, the rationale for the the Dixie the dollar index to start actually moving, and if it does start moving, if it's likely to uh, extend and surge higher or alternatively reverse lower? I'd appreciate your thoughts on that matter, please. Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to use the dollar index just because there's, there's volume in it versus the DXY. You know, I heard Larry this morning, like, you know, like, you know, if, if we break these highs, what can we do? My take is that this has been having a tough time getting there, number one, and we're just in a range. And I, I don't see any big movement happening. You know what I mean? You know, what we had happen yesterday is that, you know, you get an expansion of volume of 14,000. That's still not enough going into this high. My take is that the high is going to get tested, though. You know, but I think this range is, we're here for this range. And this range, we've been in since last October. And I'm, you know, because each time we, we get up there, it dies in the vine. Each time that we pull back, it dies in the vine. And if we go over just the, the correlation on the euro, you're going to see the euro, bottom line, um, each time it comes down to these levels, it, it wants to pop again. Now, the euro, we're at 111.62. That has to get back inside 111.77. But I don't see any real violent moves happening then. Just don't see it. Thank you very much, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Um, we get the Dow Industrials down 80, NASDAQ off 26, S&P's off 8.5. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 71. Nasdaq's off 25. S&P's off 8.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakestack, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlock.com. That's forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy Cakestack, what's going on, brother? I'll tell you what's going on. The rain has stopped in Chicago, and it's going to be 80 degrees and sunny. Ugh. That's a beautiful thing. Ready for the three-day weekend. That's Perfect. That's, that's, Absolutely. That's good news. And uh, speaking of uh, beautiful days in spring, uh, how about let's talk about the uh, Forex markets and see uh, what's going to happen as we start the summer markets next week. Okay, um, cool. I'm, I always say that we should never try and pick a bottom or a top. No trader should, but... And why not? Let's see if we can call a little bottom in the dollar or top in the dollar right now. I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why as we head into these holiday markets. Okay, cool. Um, Great. Dollar index, obviously, everyone knows is a big bull right now, correct? Yeah. Now, where is the strength? Where is the weakness? Now, the weakness is already showing a little signs in the, like today, the yet, U.S. dollar yen trade is going to be very critical. If they have a negative close today, and especially a negative close tomorrow, and you're probably going to see a nice little turn as far as the U.S. dollar yen, meaning a weakening dollar. Okay. The same is also going to happen for the Canada, which is already showing signs of weakness for the dollar as far as that's concerned. And then the key one to look at is the Swiss that's really been pounding the dollar for the yeah. past few weeks. Actually, it really is. It's looking like it really wants to challenge and test the uh, the parity level. Okay, which is very very significant. Okay. Now the reason I bring out these is there's the converse. Where is the weakness, really, uh, where the dollar gets strength right out there? That would be in the New Zealand dollar, the Australian dollar, which are lesser majors. So the dollar is just pounding those currencies, okay? And then we have the British pound, which has been under pressure now for a couple of weeks. But some really good news came out yesterday. Um, Theresa May put a warning down because the, the Labor Party wants her to resign and blah, blah, blah. So whatever she said yesterday actually started to float the markets in London, and they like that. So today, even though the pound is lower, it's been off of its lows, and it doesn't seem like it wants to test those lows or make newer move lows today. So I would say that with that being said, if this Brexit thing really means that they're going to come to the table now, which was, seems like what happened yesterday means that's going to happen, you're going to see a corrective move in the pound dollar. So that means that the dollar is going to start to lose some ground once again in the index because the pound is one of the heaviest weighting currencies okay 
So now if this does scenario does happen over the next couple of days, meaning the pound rallies into the weekend, yeah. the Swiss continues to break, and the euro, this is the one that is kind of like the, 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 the head scratcher because it's been basically in a range trade and probably will stay range bound between 111 and 112 half throughout this whole commotion. Um, but maybe the way it's looking today is that it's probably going to actually, the bulls are going to get a little momentum. And that's where I think these markets are starting to signal a potential turn, which means over the next couple of days, if these markets set up properly, buying and selling versus the dollar for the right moves, next week may begin the beginning of an erosion of the dollar index. Now, will it be a big move? I'm not calling for a big top in the U.S. dollar. All I'm saying is we might have a nice chance to get a corrective move going over the next couple of weeks. Man, there's a lot of moving pots there. That, that was really awesome, right? man. That was awesome. Seriously, man. So, the, you know, in the, in the equity markets, Teddy, you know, it's not the thing slow down. You can get volatility in the summer, but normally get a couple spikes. Currency markets, how do they act in the summer? In summertime, you know, the funny thing is, it's a really good question. Summertime, lots of people go on vacation. Now, in America, even if people have two, three weeks off, we've got bless them if they actually do go away and do something, right? But globally, things are totally different, especially in Europe. So you start to see a lot of vacuum moves where volume is skittish because a lot of traders are on holiday, okay. you know, and they're not gone for a weekend or a week. Yeah, they get like These six weeks off or something, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. So in that case, I think over the next few months especially, and of course, obviously, the currencies will drive just missed him. Yeah. Thank you, you know? There we so go. So I would say that you know, over the next few months, it's probably going to be a little volatile because of vacuum moves, um, except for uh, the U.K. trade. I would say a lot of U.K. traders, which London is one of the, is the currency capital, really, of the world, yes. that would probably see, you know, a lot of action and volatility. No summer allowed for anybody trading the pound. No. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's a fact. Oh, right? you better, yeah. man. If that's actually what you do, yeah, right. I mean, this, you can't be away from yeah. that computer right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know where it may be a sleepy summer trade is the euro because Brexit obviously is one of their issues, but there's there's no upside traction for the euro. So like when I say like this turn in the dollar, that doesn't mean there's strength in these other currencies. Right. It just means like there's, there's nothing to lift the euro as far as positive news. So a, a slide in the dollar would be the only thing to give them a lift. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So they're probably range bound. The Canada is probably really a range bound trade. The Swiss is something to really key off, especially if it can slide below parity. You know, but like I said, this is a corrective move I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a turn in the U.S. dollar at all by any means. Yeah, you know, I get the Canadian dollar up right now. I can see that you know you, you that rejected you know lower price at that 133 today or at 134. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, man. Yeah, man, there's a lot of moving pieces in this baby. There's no doubt. There is. You know, well, we're coming, we're coming into the, you know, the, the turn, you know, the spring is not over for another month for all of us, but the markets, we all know that Memorial Day in the U.S. typically is the, you know, it's where sub spring and summer markets oh. are separated. Listen, I, there's no doubt, you're, you're in the epicenter of the, the trade in commodities and futures in general, and I'm sure that we've been talking to Kevin Hinks, everyone can't wait to get out of the city for the weekend. Especially if it's going to be 80 degrees and sunny. <laughs> totally, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, and you hit the nail on the head, too, especially for Chicago traders. Today and tomorrow are their, their last days. Fridays, they're not, they're not downtown unless they have to be. They're gone. Right. Yeah, right. And I suspect even tomorrow afternoon, right, everyone's going to split. They're going to get that open going. Oh. Yeah. Beat yeah. the traffic wherever you're going. And, you know what? Especially in Chicagoland, we've had such cold and bad weather, and we're looking at 80 degrees today and mid to 70s to 80s over the next four days. Even with the rain, no one cares. Everyone's going out. That's awesome. Yeah. They're going out right now. Yeah. They're going to be out at lunch. Right. Let's go. Cancel that, the next two yeah, days. No, say, seriously. If yeah. you've seen these exchanges, folks, this is pretty cool how this works. There's plenty of you know great restaurants, and because they haven't been outside yet, there's a lot of outside places. Sure. They'll be jammed today, right, Teddy? I mean, that that's I'm it. Actually, going downtown today by the Board of Trade, I'm looking forward to having a late lunch, actually, outside at Series. So, they, absolutely. Uh, that's so funny. That's the Late lunch, I, that's I, the deal. I know that place well, man. Perfect. <laughs> and that's and a great place. It hasn't changed at all. That's still exactly what I was thinking. That, that, and when you see this, this place will be jammed, man. I mean, yeah, unreal. Well, for sure.
Okay, well, listen, man, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We always appreciate the education, and, uh, man, these currencies, they're, they're at turning points again. you got to love it, man. I mean, it's pretty wild. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys have a good week. Thanks for having me. Okay, Thanks, Teddy. Teddy. You too. And, folks, uh, every trading day, you can check out Teddy at Teddy. Yeah, Teddy. At, at <laughs> forex on trading unlockcom So it's forex trading unlockcom Tommy and I come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 66. NASDAQ is off 18. S&Ps are off 6. And that oil. Uh, oil oh, boy. Oil getting smoked out here, folks. It sure is. Look at that. 61.88. We were yeah. down a solid 75 pennies on that surprise build. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 74. NASDAQ off 22. S&P is off 7.5. It's snowing in Park City this We're morning. We're getting another weather forecast in the den. It's always been an exciting you, one, man. You gotta love it. Between Teddy at 80 degrees and snow out there in Denver. Yeah. Uh, so, Tiger Dolls. That's right, man. Speaking of that long weekend with Teddy, it's coming at us. It's Wednesday before you get out of there for the long weekend. Tiger Dollar Sale, get up to a 40% bonus, runs through Monday. We only run this a uh, couple times a year. There's your Tiger Dollars. You click right on that button. Brings you over here. Three options, whether it's 500, 
1,000, 1,500 Tiger Dollars, you get a 100, 300, or 600 Tiger Dollar bonus, 40% bonus, and Tiger Dollars never expire. You can use them for anything uh, that we offer. And then what else we have going on there on the front page of TFNN? I'm oh, in, Mr. Dave White. That's right. The Art of Time and the Trade charts. Uh, we'll ship a free copy of your book, The Art of Time and the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, and you save 25% for that one. You just enter the promo code BOOK as you check out. So get your Tiger Dollars. That's one of the items you can use it right on. Save almost $20 on that first month. Get a free book. And uh, right on that order page for Time of the Trade Charts, you'll see click here for educational videos right as you scroll down and uh, some great videos just in terms of what you can do with that software, the types of... Those Gartleys. That's right, the Gartleys, the Butterflies, the ABCs, the Power Law Vector Dave's got in there, swing points, retracements, stock lists, Gartley scans. Um, check that out. That one runs through Monday as well. So I encourage uh -huh. it. Tiger dollars are the time of the trade charts, both on the front page at TFNN, well, man. Those ABC structures are everywhere right and now, And just checking folks. back one more for oil, 61.92. So we needed 40 to 50 cents a movement. We're at 60 cents right now. Um, we'll see if it can hold. But, yeah, some volatility, cheaper gas prices as well yeah. for that Memorial Day weekend. And uh, go over to the gold contract just quickly here. So gold held yesterday. I want to see gold above the actual... Uh, 1279 or 1274. We're done, you got it? Yeah. All right. Take care, folks. Larry.